all right guys today we're going to be updating a couple computers and what we're going to do is create gpo so group policy objects so that we can let's say we have 10 computers that need to be updated we'll just assign them to the gpos and then we can get them all updated at the same time instead of going through and working on them one by one so to do this we're gonna see i got my server one here and my server eight so we're gonna go ahead and go open make sure you have your server manager open go to tools and then we're gonna go over to group policy management okay once this opens up um, you just click on the domain that you want so mine was a 411.1 uh, yeah 411.1.local and then we're gonna click on domains and then domain.1.local and then group policy objects so we're gonna right click this and then click new okay so right here we're gonna name it and you know just name it whatever you guys uh, would like to call it for mine we're gonna type in see to get rid of this I'm gonna go ahead and call it WSUS dash uh, desktops so let's say I have a couple desktops that run you know a certain, certain version of Windows or let's say it's a you know 32-bit versus a uh, 64-bit um, you would just name it whatever you want to call it here so I'm going to go ahead and do that all right in the starter GPO I'm just going to leave it at none for now and then I'm going to click OK so it created that object right there the policy we're going to right click it and then we're going to click edit there we go all right and then once this opens up we're going to go to computer configuration policies we're going to expand that okay and then go to administrative templates and then windows components then windows update so windows update there we go all right guys so now what we're going to do is scroll down in the middle, in the right pane. We're going to scroll down until we find enable client side targeting. So let's see here. So right here, enable client side targeting. We're going to right click on it. Or double click on it if it ever responds. All right, there you go. Just take a little bit to load. So we're going to go and then click enable and then we're going to click OK. Actually, before we do that on our target group name for this computer, we're going to type in desktop. So which is the group that we just created desktops. Okay. And now let's click OK. All right. So now let's click on configure automatic updates. So double click on it, click click enable, click OK. All right. Okay, we're good on that one. All right, now what we got to do is find the one that says specify intranet Microsoft update service location. So let's see, where's that one? So right there, specify intranet Microsoft update location. We're gonna click on that and click enable. Okay. And then in the options section, let's see. We're gonna go ahead and type HTTP slash 41 for 411 server 2 so my col or colon 8 530 all right so this is my server you guys are going to want to put your server's information in there okay and we're going to do that for both text boxes so let's go ahead and type it on this one http Let's see.
85 dirty okay now we're gonna go ahead and click OK all right so that's done now all right so we're done with this we created our GPO now what we need to do is create an OU so an organized use unit so let's go ahead and close out of this now we're gonna open up active directory users and computers so let's go ahead and open that up so we're gonna uh, create a new one called desktops just for that Windows 8 computer and other desktops that we would have so let's go ahead and click new computer OU organize unit name desktops there we go so now we go to computer just drag this over it'll give you a little warning message just go ahead and click yes and now that is in there by itself cool so we just created the OU and this is where we would have all our desktop computers let's say we had laptops like I said you would have a laptops computer or you know whatever it would be so now what we need to do is create a user so in the user you're gonna click new user and then the username that I needed type in is going to be windows a user all right so all I did was just type the password in and then I click instead of user must change password at next login which is um, automatically comes with that click uh, I changed it to password never expires you're going to click next and then finish so now we created our user um, let's see if we can find them yeah windows 8 user right there all right, so now we got our user, our computer, and our GPO and our OU all um, configured and set up. Now what we need to do is uh, link the OU to the GPO. So open up Group Policy Management. So let's go ahead and go back here, Tools, Group Policy Management. There we go. And now we're going to right-click on Desktops right click link an existing GPO and then click on the WS US desktops click OK awesome so now we're gonna go ahead and go to our Windows 8 computer but I'm actually logged in as an admin right now so let me go back of the user and we're gonna sign in as our Windows 8 user that we created so Windows 8. All right, so just got done logging in for the first time. So now we're gonna right click on the start and then click system. And now click Windows Update. So Windows Update. Um, you should see something that says your updates are set to automatically install or it's being managed by your administrator or something. And if it's not, what you could do is right click on start, go to command prompt, and then type in GPU update or GP update and then slash force enter. Hold on. Yeah, GP update slash force. So it's updating the uh, policy and now that should be able, it should look like like this. So you're set to automatically download, download updates, okay? So that's what it should look like. And that's pretty much it. That's how you get your computers all into one organized unit that you can label by room, by type of computer like desktops or laptops. And then you configure them to automatically install updates. You can even do it at a certain time anything like that